Weather Rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Most of the rainfall is out of here, except for the Brazos Valley still hanging on to a brief shower right now, but most of the heavy rainfall that moved through today really dropped, uh, I'd say anywhere between, anywhere between about a quarter of an inch to as much as an inch and a half in some places. Obviously, some areas had a little bit more, especially up around the Dallas area. As you know, they had over nine inches of rain. But let's take you out to Bryan and College Station right now. Again, our live Centex seamless gutter sky tracker. It's on the uh, Galleria Village office building in Bryan. That's Texas A&M University. Skies right now are partly to mostly cloudy. And again, most of the shower activity beginning to move away. Here's our exclusive Viper Radar. Quiet here. Waco, Temple, Colleen over toward Gatesville. Still a few spotty showers. And again, they're very, very light down toward Bryan and College Station, all tracking off to the east and southeast. So those are exiting. And we're going to see uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies uh, for the rest of the night. But look at the rainfall ranging from over two inches to the north up in Hillsborough. You know, areas to the north up around the Dallas area picked up over nine inches of rain. This is the second wettest August on record for Dallas. And I'll tell you what, that was the same storm system. That's kind of spent about 12 to 14 hours over I-20. And when it moved down into the central part of Texas, though, it picked up some speed. So that's why we didn't see those type of numbers here across our area uh, today. Picked up a quarter of an inch in uh, the Coin area, third in Temple, over an inch in Mejia over an inch down toward the Caldwell area. Still looking at a flood advisory, or at least a flash flood watch, in a flag, uh, fact, I should say, down for the Brazos Valley. This goes until basically tomorrow evening. So we'll watch that closely. We'll see if they uh, continue that throughout the day tomorrow. But again, nothing going on. Waco, Temple, and Clean at this moment. Temperatures, well, we're in the mid-70s. We're not going to go down much farther than this. We may be looking at our low temperatures right now. 75 in Temple, 74 in uh, Colleen as well as Temple and Gatesville checks with 74 degrees and it's 75 right now in Hearn. There's the weather system moving across our area. Still a spotty shower can't be ruled out. This is at seven o'clock tomorrow morning, so it will be in the forecast, but I do think it may just be to the south and east of I-35. You'll notice as we go throughout the day, we kind of lose a little of that uh, rainfall, the thunder that will be out there. And then by the afternoon, with the heat of the day, I know we're not going to be seeing temperatures in the 100s, but any heat we get may spark off a shower or an isolated storm. And then that front decides, well, you know what? We're going to go back to a cold front here and kind of move through the area. This is by early in the morning on Wednesday. Skies will be partly cloudy. Temperatures lower 70s, at least low to mid 70s. And then throughout the day on Wednesday, still a chance out there. We have an isolated shower or storm, but temperatures climbing up into the 90s. Here's your forecast in for tonight. Still that 70% chance. It's down toward the Brazos Valley, though. Otherwise, mostly cloudy, about 74 degrees, the low temperature. And then mostly cloudy tomorrow. It's going to be a muggy day. There's that 50-50 chance. Again, it just depends on where that front sets up. 88 degrees will be the high temperature. And then as we look ahead, this is the Daniel Stark Long Range 10-day forecast. 40% on Wednesday, 90 degrees, 91 on Thursday. By the weekend, just slight chances of rain, nothing major. Temperatures low to mid 90s, which is almost average readings. Average readings about 96 degrees. So we're a little bit below average. Just slight chances of rain here and there, but nothing like what we saw out there today. So hopefully you got something in your yard. We will see what we can do tomorrow. There is only about a 50-50 chance across the region. And then down toward Bryan and College Station, we're also looking at uh, temperatures for the most part looking uh, pretty cooler for this time of the year. We're talking temperatures for the most part in the upper 80s to lower 90s. Slight chances of rain again a little bit uh, farther down around you know the Brenham area you might see a better chance with nighttime lows in the low to mid 70s.